Dow's up, but ha almost half of that is due to Nike, about 30 points in the Dow's gain here. Mixed trading, though. It's very indeterminate day here. This is one of the uh, days where you can't make a lot of conclusions. Consumer staples, retails up a little bit. Uh, banks uh, up a little bit. Utilities are unchanged. Healthcare are unchanged. But the trend really in the last couple of weeks has been away from those value stocks, those value names that we had. Remember the big rally we saw a few weeks ago uh, in uh, retail and banks and industrials and energy stocks? That's called kind of faded in the last couple of weeks. These all had a great start to the month of September and basically have faded. And instead, we've gotten a little more defensive, not so much today, but utilities, for example, uh, are back essentially at historic highs. You put up the utility index. That briefly dropped in the early part of September, and now it's essentially uh, back towards historic highs. And there you see looking at that. Elsewhere where the thing a little bit alarming to me, IPO market really got slammed in the last couple of days, particularly yesterday. Remember the IPO ETF, big, big gainer all throughout the year, up 30%. It's now back toward the lows, going back to the early part of February, essentially. And yesterday, some of the recent IPOs, some of the big software IPOs really got slammed. So we had uh, some of those early ones uh, down, but uh, we had Lyft hitting a new low, Slack hitting a new low, uh, Smile Direct was down 14%. This is for the week, by the way, here. Lyft, we mentioned yesterday, new low. Uh, Slack also hitting a new low, bouncing a little bit better today, but you want to keep an eye on that because that's a good indication of overall market sentiment. So we've got some big IPOs coming up. You all know about Peloton, what's going on there. Nothing has essentially trained, uh, changed. The term's still there, 40 million shares, 26 to 29. That hasn't changed. And of course, we're waiting for that to price uh, on Thursday, we're pricing tonight. We we'll also have Endeavor Group be down here on Friday. Should price tomorrow. That's the uh, essentially the old William Morris company. Uh, that's terms have also been the same 19.4 million shares that's for endeavor if you could put that up at 30 to 32 dollars and uh, again still hasn't changed there finally just want to comment on WeWork and the impact on IPOs down the road WeWork is essentially an ESG company ESG related environmental social and governance this has been a big big topic these days uh, amongst uh, the IPO groups and uh, this is all a governance issue with WeWork here it has to do with leadership pay Voting rights, shareholder rights overall. A lot of this debate about WeWorks is exactly that part, that G part of governance. So ESG is becoming a very big term out there. And you can see the impact. Some very interesting work today done by New Street Research talking about the whole ESG or the governance part of that and how it might impact other unicorns that are out there. If you just take a look here at that, we're talking about positive impact on unicorns here. If you put that up for the implications of that, they were talking about this is New Street, maybe less centralized governance. Uh, out there for unicorns out there, more balanced growth profile, more interest in shareholder, stakeholder rights in general. That's that whole ESG platform. My point here is this whole WeWork mess could have, turn out to be very, very positive for all of those people who are trying to move corporations more towards that ESG platform, more socially, environmentally responsible. So good may come out of this uh, in the long run.